Hello and welcome to this yoga jungle journey. My name is Natalie and this is Rafi. And we're here to guide you on the jungle journey. So before we get started, get yourself your yoga mats and pop them close to each other in a line. And if you don't have yoga mats, that doesn't matter. But we're going to start seated. So come and sit down. Would you like a cushion, Rafi, to sit on? And if you prefer, you can sit on a chair or on the ground, whatever works for you. All righty. So well done. Give yourself a clap for coming here to the yoga class. Yeah. What does that feel like? Just notice. Slow it down. Slow the hands down till you stop. Oh, how does that feel? And begin to rub the hands. That's a good idea. Rub the hands. Create some heat in the hands. Nice and warm in the hands. Oh, and then bring the hands over the eyes, the warmth over the eyes and into the darkness. And now that your eyes are in the dark, you might be able to notice sounds. Can you notice sounds inside of the room? Sounds outside and all the way out to the distance. And then bring your awareness back inside. And can you hear sounds in your body? Can you hear your breath? And you can take your hands away, your eyes open or closed. And notice how your breath is feeling. And take a deep breath out. And then a breath in. Open your mouth and let the air out. Ah, and another round. Inhale to breathe in. And then open the mouth. Ah, let the air out. Okay, we're going on a jungle journey. And before we get started, we need to check the weather. What is the weather like? Okay, is it feeling warm or is it cold? Should we look up and see the sky? And then looking down to see the ground, is it wet? Up again, keep your body still and using your neck muscles to lift up. Uh, hopefully there's blue skies and looking down to the ground. Is there any water on the ground, any rain? No, back to the center. Look out to the side and then look back to the center and look back to the other side. What can you see out to the side? Without moving your body, bring your head back to centre and over to the other side. What's over there? Can you see any elephants ready for our jungle journey? Come back to the centre. Okay, hands out to the sides. Inhale, reach up, hands together and then palms down as you bring your hands back down. One more time. Inhale, look up. Blue skies. And then part the clouds away. Keep the blue skies in view. Yay. So it's a nice sunny day for our jungle journey. We're going to need some sunscreen. Okay. One hand out. Sunscreen in the other hand. What sort of noise does the sunscreen make? <laughs> Pour the sunscreen into your hand. <laughs> And then rub the hands together, sunscreen in your hands, and begin to pop the sunscreen on your face. Yeah. How do you do it? And down your neck, onto your chest. It's almost like a massage, isn't it? Yep. So like almost like you're massaging your arms now. Yes, all the way down your legs and into your back if you need it, and onto your feet. All right. Hey, I think you've missed the spot there. Could you please help me with the sunscreen, Rafi? So I'd like to suggest we help each other now with the sunscreen. So the little people come to the big people. Don't forget the sunscreen hand out. And what sort of noise does it make? <laughs> and pop the sunscreen. And now lovingly touching each other to help each other with the sunscreen. Oh, to miss. Thank you. The neck you forgot. Oh, thanks. And so just being really kind and gentle to each other. 
And would you like me to try for you now? All right, and swapping over. So just really gently, you can sit there. Mm -hmm. And so the sunscreen, can you put your hand out? <laughs> and rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. And gently giving each other like a massage, some kindness and some love. Does that feel nice? Uh, this one's forgotten. I forgot as well. Where? You're both. We both forgot the neck. On the neck? Oh, we both forgot the neck. So now we've helped each other with the sunscreen. Well done. Okay. Well, coming back onto your yoga mat, and because it's a jungle journey, you can move your pillow out of the way now. So you've just got your yoga mat. And because it's a jungle journey, we're going to start as a little seed in the ground. So come onto your yoga mat over here, Raphael. And then bringing your feet to onto the floor and sit on the knees and then coming forward, folding forward and bring your head down onto the floor and your arms beside your body and just relax. So just imagine that you're a little seed in the ground, soft and in the darkness, there's nothing to do until you feel the soil around you become warm and the little seed begins to sprout really slowly, sprouting your seed to come up like a plant growing in the jungle, reaching your way up, up, up. If you're a little person coming up onto your feet and then reaching your branches out as wide as you can, holding each other's hands and swaying in the wind as you bask in the sunshine. Keep moving like a plant. Yeah. And then come back down and find yourself on hands and knees and then bring the feet to the floor. And our first shape is a frog. Yes, so if you find coming into a squat hard, you might lift your bum up and that would be okay. Or your heels might be lifted as well and that's okay. You can face each other if you like. What does a frog do? Rebbit. Rebbit. And it jumps. That's a big one. Can you jump like a frog up and down your yoga mat, jumping up and coming down, up and back? Well done. Wow, that's quite a lot of energy. I feel like a sleepy frog. What about you? What does a frog do when he goes to sleep? Sure, dangle your head down in your squat. You might reach your arms forward and feel a stretch. Oh, I think it's time to wake up now. So one hand down onto the ground in your squat. Reach the other one up and yawn as you open. Oh, and then bring the hand down. Reach the other arm up. Oh, and bring the arm down. Good job. Okay. I think I can hear an elephant. Okay, lift your bottom up and lengthen your legs up. Relax your neck and you can face each other or if you like, keep facing forward with your feet apart. What does an elephant have? A trunk. A trunk. Take your hands out in front and clasp them together and let your trunk dangle between your legs. Bend your knees as much as you need to to keep your back healthy. Oh, and then we lift up, ready? As we inhale, lift and reach up and then bend your knees and fall back down again. And again, inhale to lift up and then exhale, make the noise. Like an elephant again, lifting up, inhale and exhale. And hang here. Oh, that's nice. Well, well, it wouldn't be a jungle journey if we didn't meet a lion, surely. Is there a lion nearby? Come on to your hands and knees facing each other this time. Move back a little bit, Raffi. On your hands and knees and bring one foot forward, back 
a little bit. No, we're going to change this. So breathing in and then open your mouth and ah, like a lion. Stay there, Raphael. Ah, open your mouth and let the tongue come out and roar one more time. Ah, now take that knee back and bring the other foot forward. Bring the other foot forward now, Raphael. Good job. And then rock a Ryan. Breathe in and ah. And facing each other if you're already there. One more time. Inhale. Ah. Good job. All right. Onto your belly. Take yourself all the way back there. Onto your belly. And long legs. Okay, facing each other or facing forward, doesn't really matter. Hands down onto the floor and quiet onto the ground. I think I can hear a snake. What does a snake do? Live around. Lift up, hands on the floor. You can come halfway up or bring your chest all the way up and lift like a snake. Bring your chest back down again and breathing in as you lift up oh like a like a cobra and there's a moving cobra over here coming back down again oh all right press on into your hands and knees onto your yoga mat please Raphael good job there's a river nearby what are we going to do we're going to need to make a boat with our bodies come onto your bottom and feet out in front with your knees bent Bring your knees in and give yourself a hug. Lifting your feet up. Can you balance like a boat? Oh, good job. It's hard, isn't it? Lifting your feet up. Lean back a little or lean forward. There, it's very difficult. All right. So you might face each other or you can still face forward. So what do we need to do? You can keep your feet on the floor if you find it hard to balance. Keep your feet down, Rafi. Okay. So let your hands go and pick up a raw or oar and begin to row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is just a dream. Ah, oh, give yourself another hug. Oh. Raphael, do you know how to do the butterfly? Soles of the feet together and then knees out to the sides. And you can take a hold of the ankles or even the toes and then begin to bounce your knees up and down and fly like a butterfly. You might like to even close your eyes so that you feel and imagine that your knees are like wings. Have you got your eyes closed or have you got your eyes open? It doesn't really matter. Flying like a butterfly, looking for a beautiful flower to come and land on and find some nectar on the flower. So find the flower and then if it feels okay for your back, you can begin to lean forward and find some nectar on the flower. Mm, just relax as you forward fold here and maybe even sway from side to side. Yeah, and then coming up, and this time you can cross your feet. We're just going to sit for a moment. And I think I can hear bumblebee. Can you hear the bees? What sound does the bee make? Bzzz. Okay, well, you can use your hands if you like or have them in your lap. We're going to make the bumblebee noise by making a hum. So it's a humming noise when you breathe out. If you want to use your hands like Raphael, feel free. Breathe in now and then start humming on your breath out. And another round, breathing in and slowly humming. Mm. 
One more round. Mm. Just relax after those three rounds of Bumblebee and notice if you can still hear and feel the sound in your body. Now I'd like us to teach each other some yoga. So why don't you think about a yoga pose that you really like or maybe you just like a particular animal and you can teach each other how to do that particular animal. So we might start with Raphael. Raphael, would you like to teach us one of your favourite yoga poses or do an animal? The jellyfish. We're going to do the jellyfish. Okay. Okay. So you hug your knees and you go down and then you lift your legs up and you poke your tongue out. That sounds really fun. Has everybody tried the jellyfish? Do we rock from side to side, Raphael? Yeah. If you want to. Okay, and then when you're ready, come on up. And now your turn. Why don't you share with each other? So think about a yoga pose and then teach each other. I hope you enjoy this. Just take a moment now. And maybe it's the little one that can teach the big people one of their favorite yoga poses. Go for it. Okay, well, a couple more things to do on our jungle journey and it's getting a little late and I can see a rainbow. So we're going to form a rainbow with our feet and legs. So bring yourself so that you're facing each other and your hands back behind you with your knees bent. And begin to bring the soles of your feet together at the toes. Okay, so both feet together and now hands together. Are you ready, Raphael? Do you think we can try to lift one foot up? One foot, one like a rainbow, two like a rainbow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Good job. And then if you like, Bring your hands on the inside and your legs out to the side. Ah, oh, and bring your feet down. 
it's a bit like a star, isn't it? And the big person can lengthen their legs out while the little person's legs is on the inside. Is that okay for you, Raphael? All right, hands together and inhale to lift up and then exhale and you can take one person back with you and then inhale, lift up and then the other person can take you forward as they lead back. One more as you breathe in, lift up and then breathe out. Oh, I'm going back. I'm going all the way back. Good job. And then lift up and leaning forward as the other person goes back. Really good job. All righty. Bring the feet back together and thank that your little yoga partner. High five. Good job. And now it's time for a jungle rest in the forest. Can you lay down, Raphael? I'll get you a pillow. You might like to help each other with a pillow under the head. Would you like a blanket on your body? And just laying down now with your feet apart and your arms beside your body and your palms lifting up and relaxed. Close your eyes down and spend a moment just relaxing your whole body, reflecting on your journey through the jungle. Remember all of the animals And relax your body. Nothing left to do except for relaxing and letting your body rest. And staying here, noticing the sounds that you hear in the room. Just begin to listen to the sounds that you hear in the room. No need to answer, but what are the sounds that you hear in the room? Listen to the sounds outside of the room and notice what sounds you can hear outside. Continue your journey of Noticing sound way out to the distance and all around. And then bring your awareness back into the room and notice the sounds that you hear around in the room and in your body. Can you notice the sound of your breath as you breathe? Maybe even notice your heart beating. And then slowly begin to move your body in any way that it wants to move. Wriggling your fingers and toes and your hands and maybe stretching like a cat in the morning. And then rolling over to the side and then come up to seat again. Well, you've come to the end of your jungle journey and your yoga practice. I'd like you to reflect on your yoga practice and think about what was it that you really enjoyed doing and share that with each other. Raphael, what did you enjoy the most you like the frog? Yeah. Uh, well, I really enjoyed doing the elephant. You like the frog? I hope that you can share as well together what it was that you enjoyed in the practice. And once you have shared what you both enjoy, I'd like you to sit now with your hands in front of your heart, palms touching, minimally finished. Any way that you like that's comfortable. And now have a think about what you like in your life. Have a think about what it is in your life that you really like. 
what makes you smile? And you might now like to smile and notice how that feels. If it feels good to smile and acknowledge the things that we like in our life. I hope that you enjoyed your practice of yoga on our jungle journey together. Thank you for joining us. Namaste. Namaste, Raphael.